Army Upgrade Channel introduces the most interesting samples from the defense complex of different countries. Today we will look at the ANTEY-4000. This is a new Russian anti-aircraft system ANTEY-4000, created on the basis of Land Forces Air Defense Complex C-300B. It can go in army columns on any roads and fields, so its chassis is caterpillar. In case of threat of air attack, it can be brought to combat readiness literally on the move and after a short stop it can launch missiles. It takes minutes to do that. The C-300B was designed to destroy all kinds of aerodynamic targets and operational tactical missiles. A mobile surface-to-air missile system with similar capabilities has not even been attempted anywhere else in the world. Over time, the land-based 300 was modernized to the level of the C-300VM. Then there was actually a new complex, or rather, the entire surface-to-air missile system C-300B-4. New computing machines with huge speed, software and the most modern interface were installed. Radars have become more sensitive, long-range and interference protected. New missiles have also been created for the new system, confidently hitting targets at a range of 400 kilometers. The system also provides for less powerful missiles to combat air targets within a radius of 150 kilometers. A new track chassis has also been developed for the C-300B-4. The previous one used the base of the T-80 tank. The contract for delivery of the S-300V-4 SAM system to the Russian Armed Forces was signed in 2012, and the first set was delivered to the customer at the end of 2014. By the way, this system provided air defense for the Winter Olympics in Sochi. The S-300V-4 surface-to-air missile system is capable of destroying both air and maneuvering sea targets. The export version of the C-300V-4 is called ANTEY-4000. As it is stated, the system is already attracting great interest from potential foreign customers, at their request, ANTE-4000 can be installed on a wheeled chassis. The anti-aircraft missile system has improved technical characteristics compared to previous generations such as the S-300VM. It has an export version, ANTI-2500, which has already been delivered abroad. The range of defeat of aerodynamic targets, up to 45 kilometers. The maximum speed of the targets, 4,800 meters sec. The Pentagon's Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, DARPA for short, and the U.S. Navy have launched a program to develop a new tactical deck-based unmanned aerial vehicle suitable for takeoff and landing on the deck of virtually any ship in the fleet. The new vehicles will replace ScanEagle reconnaissance drones, which are launched using pneumatic catapults and require a special aero finisher to complete the flight. According to the results of the development of the new drone, the military expects to get a vehicle weighing up to 140 kilograms, capable of carrying a payload of up to 27 kilograms. The drone should be able to take off and land vertically, but at the same time, its cruising flight should take place in an aircraft mode. Thanks to this, the military expects to get rid of the catapult and air finisher. The new aircraft will be able, among other things, to fly between ships, as well as between the ship and the shore. The U.S. Army and Navy have previously tested an advanced reconnaissance drone, the Martin UAV V-BAT. This vehicle can be launched from the deck of almost any ship. The vehicle is made according to the tailsitter scheme. This is the common name for an airplane-type vehicle capable of vertical takeoff and tail-end landing. After takeoff, such a vehicle is capable of transitioning to normal horizontal flight in an airplane-like manner. The V-BAT is capable of speeds up to 90 knots, sustained flights at 45 knots, and climbs up to 4,500 meters. The craft can stay in the air for up to 8 hours and carry a payload of up to 3.6 kilograms. For takeoff and landing, the drone requires an area of 2.7 square meters. Today we will look at the Seagull A050. 
Russia is creating a new monster. A sea-shielded carrier of the Global Strike will be put into service next year. Back in the USSR, the great importance was attached to the screen planes due to the universal combination of the functions of airplanes and ships. The most famous and successful one is the Loon. It can accelerate up to 500 km per hour and was armed with a Moskit anti-ship missile system. Nowadays developers are creating a new generation of screen ships made of modern materials, so the new AO50 will weigh about 50 tons, it will be able to take on board 100 people or 9 tons of cargo. Thanks to aircraft engines, the craft will be able to reach speeds up to 450 km per hour, and it will be able to move not only on water, but also on ice or step. Hydrofoil Design Bureau confirmed creation of screenplanes of new generation, nowadays they are designing several similar aircraft including, Cheka 2. Design of a screenplane was presented at international exhibitions, its technical characteristics are in the public domain. The enterprise management does not comment on the questions regarding construction of new generation screenplanes. Multi-purpose offshore screenplane, Cheka 2, of Project AO50-742D is designed for passenger and cargo transportation in sea coastal areas, as well as for fulfillment of specialized tasks of Ministry of Emergency Situations. It can be used as a cross-country service, sanitary, transport facility, for monitoring of ecological condition of inland water areas. The submersible is able to reach unequipped coastline with a slope up to 5 degrees. The Seagull 2 can be based on water and on a second-class aerodrome. The crew consists of four people. Screen speed is 400 km per hour, outside the screen 450. The flight range on the screen is 3000 km, off the screen 2000. According to unconfirmed information, the new Russian screen ships will be armed with a modification of the Russian Indian surface-to-surface -surface missile BrahMos, which in turn is a version of the Onyx missile. Recall that the development of the promising screenplane became widely known after the statement of the Russian Minister of Industry back in September 2018. According to him, the flying vehicle will become an effective modern weapon, invisible to enemy radars. It is planned to use the screen plane mainly for the protection of the Northern Sea Route and patrolling the Black and Caspian Seas. All about the secret technology of the US Air Force stealth bomber B-21 Raider can be seen at the link. See you on the Army Upgrade channel.